What's up, everybody, and welcome to Rant Apocalypse Talks. Everything. That's right. <laughs> it's not just one singular thing. Probably more or less The Walking Dead because yeah. that's what's happening right now, as well as Westworld. We really love that show as well, and we'll be having our video review for Westworld Season 1, Episode 5 coming up later this week. But we just wanted to give you guys and gals an update that we are going to be doing Q&A question and answer videos going forward. Yeah, this and is going to be so much fun. This will be a, because we are not good at maybe tweeting you back or answering you on Facebook. No. You know, I always try to put like so that you know at least that you know we saw the comment and we like yes. it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Answer, great comment. But <laughs> it I was didn't really good. Have so, time to get yeah, to the answer yeah. part. I of did. It. I did read it, and uh, my brain went, "Oh, that's a really good question." But that's as far as we got. So yeah, exactly. Uh, no, I think this will be a really fun way to not only be able to you know conversate back and forth with you guys because I love it whenever we get any feedback. Right. Uh, we you know we we don't have a ton, tons and tons of feedback, but we do get some really good stuff, and we want to make sure that we are answering you guys' questions uh, about TV shows that we like or specific things that happen in a TV show that you were just wondering about and wanted to get our opinions on it. So. Each and every week, we're going to be doing Q&A. The thing that you need to do for us is in the comment section, whenever you want us to answer a Q&A question, just put Q and A at the beginning of that question so that way we're like, ooh, that's something we want to address in a video where we can kind of talk about it a little bit more in detail. For example, we have a question. This isn't a Q&A one, but this is just an example yes. from Alien Hunter. He said, I have a question for you guys, completely unrelated to this past week's episode of The Walking Dead, but I kind of feel like it needs to be addressed. Why does everyone criticize Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Negan? The way he looks, the beard, etc., when the TV governor looked nothing right. like the comic counterpart. Right. Not to mention the fact that comic governor was all kinds of rapey. He <laughs> also had really long hair and almost looked Latino. He did At look least, Latino, I thought. He yeah. did. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, he, he, he definitely, uh, I think, a, at least a little bit. Mm -hmm. And he said, at least JDM has the same general look as Negan. I don't get the double standards. Yeah. Thoughts? And that, I find that to be a really interesting question. And I thought people would stop. But yeah. it doesn't seem to be happening. You know, why does he? Why is he so skinny? Negan isn't that skinny in the comic book. You know, so it's like, oh my God, he's, he's doing such a fantastic job. Get off of it. He's hot as hell. Shut Get up. Off his nuts, people. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Question and answer over. Get off nuts. <laughs> so no, yeah. Just, just kidding. I I, uh, I thought the only the only one that I kind of was like, oh man, he's not quite as big right. um, as his comic book counterpart. I don't I could give two shits less about the beard. Like to me, the beard looks great on him. Like he looks. I think he looks more badass with the beard. I think if he shaved. I've I've seen Jeffrey Dean Morgan right. with the clean shaven mm -hmm. face. He doesn't look as menacing no. um, as he does with the beard. So, in my opinion, keep the beard. The governor, to me, I would have liked to have seen that. And yes, it is sometimes nice to be a purist, and you're like you have this, um, especially when it's a visual medium like right. comic books. You know, it's not like Game of Thrones where you're envisioning what this character looks like in your head, and then they put him in the TV show, and you're like, oh my god, they completely nailed that character. <laughs> Um, you know, whenever you have a, a visual medium like comic books and you see this character right. on the page, uh, yeah, some people, they get a little bit butt hurt whenever yeah. it doesn't come out looking identical. And I, I get it. I mean, because you have so much love for that character in, yeah. in your comic books or graphic novels or whatever. I get that, but it's time to move on. I yeah. Mean, let's move on to the fact that he's a son of a bitch. How about that? He, he is a son of a bitch. I think for the governor, the easiest thing that I will say is, had you taken the comic book governor and put him in the TV show, I just, now, it... That doesn't apply it anymore. To, well, well, no, I'm just saying, it remains to be seen whether or not this storyline was good. Actually, in my opinion, it's, it's already been seen. The storyline was not good. But I couldn't have imagined that comic book character of the governor having a romance with Andrea. No. With that visual appearance and no. like the way he was super skeezy slime ball mm -hmm. guy. It's, and mm -hmm. as Alien Hunter pointed out, quite rapey. Mm -hmm. um, that just wouldn't have worked on the show. And what I don't agree with the storyline that they went with. To me, I wish they would have went with the comic book governor storyline. I love, you know, I love David Morrissey. He was mm -hmm. the shit. 
Um, but as far as Jeffrey Dean Morgan is concerned, I think he is absolutely knocking Negan out of the ballpark. No puns intended. Um, yeah, he's doing a fantastic yeah. job. It's it's to me it's it's more about his personality, his charisma as Negan, and I think that he's, he's absolutely killing it with that. He is selling that character. Yes. In, in in the way that you know that Negan came across in the comic book. So visually, maybe not the same. Again. I like the way he looks, so shut up. And one other thing, I think he did a, they changed some things up with his hair. I think his hair looked a little bit better in the premiere if you're going off of what he looks like in the comic book. And they had a little it, longer and slicked back a little bit more, a little greasier. Look, it was just, it was just really, really slicked back. Right. And for some reason, I don't feel like in the, in the finale of season six, it didn't, there was something different, right. it seemed like, where it looked a little bit more comic booky. It almost looked like he was losing some hair, like the way that they made it look Which like. Which is and I, obviously the way Negan looks in the, in the comic yeah, book. Yeah, mm-hmm. in the comic book. So for me, Alien Hunter, I, uh, I don't understand the hate as well. I think he's doing a fantastic job, and uh, my mom um, wants to take him to the bone zone. So I can't help I think it. That's all that matters for Jeffrey Dean Morgan, it, right? It really is. It really is. Um, you know, I'm thinking these two, Jeffrey oh, Dean Morgan, this is going to be my day, man. <laughs> You're just going to get you another um, cardboard oh, cutout? I am. Of, you see, I left the spot right here. Oh, no, it's, it's already perfect. <laughs> perfect for, for Negan right there. So that's an example of a, of a really great, fun Q&A question, and we would love for you uh, folks to leave us some more. So just down there, Q&A in the comments section, and we will collect them, and then answer as many as we possibly can in a video throughout the week. So that's all we had to say. We just want to say, hey, we love you guys. Yeah, Thanks I was for all the say, awesome yeah, for feedback. sure. Tons of love. Yes. yes, tons and tons of love. Thanks again for watching our channel, subscribing, liking our videos, and leaving us awesome comments. We hope you guys have a fantastic day, and bye bye for now.